So just obviously doing the banister. Clean required, dust present. That was actually a hair as well. So dust present. They're all stable. You've got a black mark on the one, two, third one coming up. And paint is chipped here. Paint visible. Stable condition, however clean required. White, even here, here. And then I'm just going to stand at the top of the stairs, aim the camera down on this sole wall. So you can see obviously where the black scuff marks and patches are present. Then above the walls are clean with no handprints. It's just mainly eye level downwards look marks here here scuff mark 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 marks so it's all the way down you can see various handprints just walking back down the wall in front you have paint which is chipped peeled there's no handprints black scuff mark left cobweb <sighs> cobwebs are present in this corner <sighs> can't see now that they're moving one sec <sighs> there you go you can see them moving on the video just along no handprints however it looks like an old leak got a couple of leak stains here but no handprints paint chipped and then the wall in front above the skirting boards black scuff marks skirting boards clean required And then above, marks present. You've got a couple of handprints. Scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark. And then eye level upwards is clean. However, you've got paint chips here and a mark on the wall here. And then just in the corner, you've got cobwebs. You can see them moving. There you go. Right, let's do the ceiling coming up. Ceiling coming up is white with no black handprints and no stains. However, obviously you've got your cobweb in the corner here and you've got a cobweb on this banister. Just gonna go round doing the ceiling. It's white, light bulb working and present with lampshade. White, white, no stains. I'm just gonna stop there. Bannister is white with a brown top, stable condition. I'll show you the top with no damage. Okay, so I've done the flooring. Obviously, it's going towards the light layer of dust, bannister, dust, walls, ceiling. Now, what I'll do, I'll finish off the landing. So the flooring has all been hoovered with no stains, no hairs, no burn marks, no damage. You can still see where it's been hoovered. Item present. Lifting that, it's clean. And then let's continue with the hallway. So there is no door for the living room from the landing. Above, it's clean. And then right of the fireplace skirting boards are white thin layer of dust present scuff marks are present marks mark 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 above it's clean above the photo it's also clean photo stable and then underneath between the radiator cover and photo, clean condition. However, you do have marks on the wall. I'm just going to record the top. And you do have a stain right hand side. You've got a mark underneath where this item is. Scuff marks present. And mark present on the paint. To radiator cover, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, and clean required. You can see also where something's lit, dripped down. 
Okay, the left of the radiator cover, you've got some scuff marks on the wall. And further up, there's like blue marks. You've got blue marks on the sides around, you've got hair. Blue marks, dust present. Blue marks further down. In line, you've got a mark, mark underneath, mark underneath this plug light switch. Left of the photo, You've got little four dots, one, two, three, four dots present, paint chipped. And just looking at the photo, you've got dust. And you've got a dust layer on the photo itself. Above the door to the kitchen, it's clean. There's no door to the kitchen. Left of the door to the door frame of the kitchen, you've got three screw nails, one, two, three. And underneath you have marks. handprints towards the bottom scuff marks so it's dripped on the wall blue marks paint or red marks here blue marks marks on the skirting board marks marks mark 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 behind mark on the wall mark above above the curtain clean no concerns window so the window frame's clean you can see where the glass has been wiped down as well and you've got a plastic bit missing here one two four present three present one two three present that's loose and you've got a missing one here Window opens fine, groove could do with a clean. And then the windowsill, nail mark, brown mark. That's actually on the windowsill. And then left side marks on the sill. Right side marks on the wall, but no paint peeling, no mold. You like a cream color. Then left side, no mold. Then I'm gonna now do the living room. Just gonna leave obviously that window open to get some air in. So into the living room. Okay, so we have ceiling with cobwebs present stain also present like, like an old leak stain got a large cobweb see it's all the way from that wall all the way to that wall mark on the ceiling like at the dent on the ceiling another further cobwebs Patchy paint, patchy paint, stay, no, mark on the ceiling. So that's a mark on the ceiling. Another mark, I think that's just due to patchy paint. Sellotape present, looks like an old decoration hook. And then second light for the dining table, mark on the ceiling. Large cobweb, you can see that. There you go, it's moving. Another cobweb, and you can see it's patchy paint. Both light bulbs working and present, with lampshades both working and present. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, how shall I do this? Okay, single sofa, you can see there's a stain visible. Well, obviously it's been used. No visible odour, red pillow, green pillow. I'm just going to put the items out here and then obviously I can put them back afterwards. The top's clean. And underneath it's clean with no hairs and no odours. Behind the walls are clean. However, just in line with this sofa, you've got a patch on the wall. 
but there's no handprints, no black marks, no cause for concern. Items present on the wall, cobwebs visible on the wall. The radiator, so in line with the radiator, just move this this way. You do have a few handprints present. So we go up and down, showing you the condition. You can, if I stand here, you can see the wall, it's quite patchy. So look here. Item present, left of the item. Mark, no, it's just different texture. Old nail mark hole present, different texture in the wall. But that's why it's coming up because it's a different texture. But it is quite patchy, the paint. Behind the telly. And then left, you've got a mark on the wall here. See the two marks? Above and towards the corner. That is so you've got a diff no it's not it's just the shadow so look, i've just stood in the way and it's the same if i move it turns so it's just a shadow you've got under uh, just in line with the sofa cushion marks on the wall and then further on down more marks present bin is emptied and then you've got another red Cushion and another green cushion. Sofa seat, clean with no odour. And then this could do with a hoover. Got a pencil on the side. Oh, underneath um, there's no odour just going to push the chair forward so behind the sofa you can see the line and the same wall as the TV where it is and then opposite another line so where the furniture has hit the wall above it's clean apart from obviously the cobweb your hanging decoration just above the sockets and the line you do have a mark in the wall underneath it's clean wooden skirting boards you can see there's a joint gap here it is stable but you can see the gap just gonna push this back so this is the flooring's all been hoovered and clean with no hairs dirt or damage i'm just gonna push this one back and then i can do the tv area yeah, it's literally in line with the corners, so you can see where it's hit the wall. Okay, TV stand, clean condition. You can see a ring light mark here. No dust on or around the TV. And then right, you can see ring light marks where it's been used. TV control present, left side, all empty, middle empty, with a further control right side all empty cable present so just behind the first corner sofa you can see there is a gap in the flooring but there is no hairs no dust with no damage so i'll just push that back again and move this cushion so we have blinds currently half open with no damage, no concerns above, clean. You've got three, four, five, six coasters, all in suitable, clean condition. Item present. And you do have a scuff or a mark present, ring mark present, it's like it's like a glass mark present. The drip's been dripped on. And then, so they've been put the wrong way. 
what, let's lift the rug up before I do the table. So rug's clean, no odours, no hairs, no damage. Okay, let's lift that. Let's push these tables out. Second table, pen mark, pen mark, pen mark, pen mark, pen mark, glass ring mark. Smaller table, clean, really stable, and they're quite heavy. Radiators, white and clean. Three items present. Pop them over here. Plant just needs some attention. Okay, so let's lift the blinds up. Oh, they're really heavy. Right, blinds have been lifted. The windows have been cleaned. However, on the frame, left, right side, dust. Windows have been cleaned. Oh, look at this cobweb. Massive cobwebs present. There's cobwebs on the outside as well. The grooves need cleaning. So that cobweb, yeah, you can still see the end of the cobweb here. Massive cobweb here. Uh, window sill, you can see it's cracked on the wall. Paint's peeling, black mark. It's not a mark. You've got the sealant, which is cracked in places and there's a slight gap between the ceiling and the frame could do with a clean you've got a nail exposed a different texture clean required paints exposed paints exposed you've got a ring light mark here and then the crack again in the corner looks like a leak mark maybe marks present above the window it's clean no mold and then we've got a foot, foot lounger, I suppose. It's clean with no odour, no stains, no marks. We do have a mark here, actually, on one of the sides and a white stain here, but there's no odour. Oh, and there's a knot in them. So it's empty and clean. Empty and clean with no hairs underneath, empty and clean. So it's quite a stable item. Left of the window, you have small marks present. Mark of the skirting board, handprint. Just mainly eye level downwards, you can see handprint. Took the camera that way. There you go. Picture on the wall with cobweb. Spider, cobwebs in the corner. We can see them moving. It's all clean until you get again to eye level downwards. So the wall in front, patchy paint, mark, mark, mark. You've got spiders hanging down. And you've got a grey lamp, shade, damaged. Look. You can see it's damaged. Stable condition base. Oh, but it's not. Oh no, that's because it's the lampshade. It's bent. Uh, let's turn the switch on. Light bulb working and present. Table, hair. Oh, is that hair? Hair present. Another hair present. Item. In front, it's clean, and then to the left, marks visible in line with the table. You've got a mark above as well. You can see the dust on the the, um, the light bulb. Okay, let's work my way around. 
you have a three seater red material sofa present no visible odors or stains you have a blanket in gray clean with no odor just going to pop these on the green rug so you have no odors on the sofa no visible stains above photo attached securely with no damage no marks in between left side marks are visible above the skirting boards and then in line with the sofa look left you've got a mark all the way along the wall so just in between the gap here just working my way up you have handprints and then another item on the wall clean condition stable and that's the line i was saying a moment ago to the left you've got another line here and in the corner apart from the cobwebs it's clean you've got candles i'm not all that just needs a clean look lifting that up Is that a green mark yeah, just could do an extra wipe down. It's quite heavy, but you can see there's no marks on the unit. So just looking at the left side, you've got two black marks here that are not part of the property. I've just lifted obviously the small candle and you can see the ring light mark. Needs to clean. A couple of scratches here and two further black marks as well okay left side glasses present so you have various style of glasses one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 various glasses underneath is empty drawer one is empty with no hairs however you do have marks towards the bottom oh actually yeah no marks no hairs drawer two no hairs empty drawer three no hairs empty push this chair in and then you have various items in here as well you have some napkins some candles two further glasses not sure what this is one two three four oh, four five six seven table placemats You've got a table car cover. You've got some paper present. Not sure what that's about. But you've got items present. Left here. And then you've got more table placemats. One, two, three, four, five, six placemats. And you've got another place mat to go with the top lot and then a box I'm just going to move them out of the way you've got something in this bottom box Let's have a look knives and forks so you've got three four five six you've got three soup spoons and another three soup spoons. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six normal spoons. And a further two forks. You've got six little dessert forks. You've got six little spoons. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve knives. okay and then just look in the wall in front you have a black mark on the wall 
and then another faint black mark mark right of the kitchen you've got a hair on the wall here frame is secure two items hanging securely and then underneath the hatch it's got patchy wall looking tired with black scuff marks mark mark marks here mark mark and then above the skirting board mark 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 on the wall mark mark left of the hatch mark mark all the way around and then in the corner you've got more scuff marks present and then just going to do the wall going round you've got mark further marks towards the bottom of the walls mark mark long line here just obviously where the switch is another mark here handprints above the light switch and then marks left of the light switch nail present and on the side mark paint chipped you see it's starting to look tired where the handprints have been mark discolored and then you have a dining table which is clean with no damage okay so then we have your chairs stains present stable condition stains present stable condition marks present but if i do that one first it's easier so it's stable, however, stains are present. Stains are present and it's starting to discolour. You can see the different colour of it. Stain at the back. And if I do the one in the corner. So clean required. They're looking like an off-white. Stains present. It's got the pen mark. And then the last chair, stains present. Stable, but stains present. Okay. I'm just going to pop the chairs back and do the flooring. Oh, actually, if I leave these chairs out, I can do this flooring showing it's clean, it's hoovered with no damage and no hairs underneath the dining table area. There is a slight gap between the flooring ow, and the skirting board. So this is literally the middle of the hatch. And then just bending down, you can see there's a gap between the skirting board and the flooring. Towards the top, it goes in, then it bows out again. So I'm just going to do the middle. There you go, it's clean with no concerns. Underneath, if I can get down. Underneath, it's, I think, hoover required. You can see the cobweb as well. Hoover required underneath the table that's where i've just dropped the plants i'll pick those up myself and take them with me pushing the footstool back obviously i've done underneath there i'm just gonna put the table back Before I put the table back in front of the window, the flooring is tired looking. There you go. And this gap is quite 
you can see, it's not level. Like these, your foot just goes smooth. This dips down a bit. This, oh, because it moves, look. That panel moves slightly. Push it back towards the window and then just carrying on. The one that moves, you can see it's damaged slightly here. And then it's damaged here as well. So I'm just gonna move the rug up and record under the rug. Okay, so I've just lifted the, the rug and you can see one, two, three, four, marks on the flooring. That's another one there. Two. There you go. So marks, damage, present. And then you can see where the loose floorboard was. Just one more up. So there's a bit of a thicker gap between the skirting boards. But the skirting boards, not skirting boards, sorry, the flooring. The flooring has all been hoovered and mopped. There's no hairs or concerns. However, apart from those patches that I've recorded, there is no further damage. Into the kitchen. Oh, turn the light bulbs off. Light switch off. Okay, into the kitchen. So you have a ceiling with a cobweb, cobweb, but the ceiling is white with no grease marks. However, you've got further cobwebs above the left side unit. Okay. So we'll do the walls first. So you've got a grey bin, dented. Oh, sorry, cream bin. Items present. And mark here. Got marks on the wall here. Above it's clean. And then further marks in line with the photo mark on the wall, nail bent, blue marks. And above you've got mark on the seat on the wall, right of the door frame. Mark on the ceiling. No black scuff marks, item present, but you can see the cobwebs. You've got a Beko fridge freezer, the fridge. You can see where it's been wiped down. You've got a mark in the middle. This sculler. Inside, it's all been cleaned with no odor. You can see where it's just been scraped though by the drawers. Do you have a blue green mark present? Light bulbs working and the freezer. Right side mark towards the bottom. Two, one, two blue scuff marks, black scuff mark, further up another scuff mark. The groove, the handle is all clean. Oh, a bit of water there though. But this rubber could do with a clean. Clean required. Okay, so you've got one, two, three drawers and one tray with no mould. You've got one, two, three, four, five chopping boards, various sizes, fruit bowl, tea, coffee, sugar. Items are present in the sugar and the tea, but not in the coffee. Kettle, toaster, salt and pepper, knife stand with knives all present. 
Let's see, a pair of scissors, utensils. So you've got three wooden ones, a brown one, and then five black. One, two, no, so you've got the stand, which is the purple, orange, yellow, red, green utensils, white toaster, and items for washing up. So units all currently closed with no shimmer, no grease marks. Underneath, all currently closed, again, with no shimmer and no grease marks. However, the one under this sink is water damaged. And water damaged towards the bottom. And it needs a clean from the inside. A crack. No, it just needs a clean. Clean required. And then left of the dishwasher, no shimmer items present clean required dishwasher white not tested no water no lime scale um, items present under the sink I've done this one saying the door needs cleaning you've got a cobweb here shelves all empty you do have a fly empty left of the oven you've got a white mark on the door items present hinge loose and you need cleaning hinge at the top cleaning the side items present clean required at the bottom oven zanussi oh, i think this needs another clean can you see not greasy to touch but I think clean could be required yeah you can see the discolor so where it's clear and then where it's all yellow so clean required inside clean required And then right, empty, door needs a clean. Items present, so let's do the door, door clean required. And you've got various items, so if we just start the bottom shelf, pots, pans, jugs. You've got four, three lit, four, three lids, two, three mixing bowls, woks, bowls. You've got various size bowls. Drawer, bottom, oven, gloves present. Mark present. Three towels present the door could do with a clean number two items present and then top door items present one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one, four, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sports, ten, eleven, knife, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spoons. Mixer, two knives, tin opener, two plate peelers, pizza cutter, another pizza cutter. Worktop, no burn marks, no stains, no grease marks, all been wiped down. And you've got a, another cooking appliance. See, it's clean, grease. Oh, the outside needs clean. No, that's inside. 
total empty. The handle's quite sticky and you've got a sticky pad here. So you can see it's clean behind the worktop. Oh, what's that? That must have come out of here. I'll just put it back. But you see the tiles, the tiles are clean with a white sealant. Plant just needs attention. Plant is okay. You've got black mold on the sealant behind the hand basin in the kitchen. Tiles all clean, grease free, wiped down, no damage. And then around the arch, it's white clean with no cause for concern. However, paint has chipped here and it's yellow because it's discolored. But in suitable condition, you have your extractor fan. Put this on. Hood. It is sticky. Sticky extractor fan filter. Light bulb working, you've got rust visible. Or is that grease? Just see grease here. Shimmer on the, you can see where the grease is. And then you have a hob whirlpool. So the rims need cleaning. Even the, the protective cover here needs cleaning. That's been cleaned, but it could do with another clean. There you go. And rims on this side, this is the top left. And then the bottom left so there's a black mark only you've got a hair um does the hob pop turn that off turn that off put the hob on okay all burners are working with no odor Flooring has all been hoovered. However, if you're looking at the oven, look in the corner here on the plinth, damage. All been hoovered. However, in front of the dishwasher, you have a thicker gap between the tile. And then if I just put the bin back, you can see there's no grease marks or issues. It's just starting to slightly uplift. You see, there's a bit of a bigger gap, and then in front, obviously, the fridge freezer, dirt, dust, visible, and then there's a gap here. Um, so you look, you've got hair there, so that's not fitted correctly. That needs attention, and there's damage on the right one as soon as you go in. Okay, so the window is clean from the inside. However, cobwebs are present. And you do have paint on the frame here. That window is open. That handle doesn't. So you can push it in, but you can't move the handle. Uh, you need to clean there as well. Look. Clean required. Groove clean required. So this handle doesn't open. Look. And you can just push the window so it's unsecure. Blind. Cream. Rolls down fine with no stains and no odours. Just rolling it back up, if you look on the right side, you've got a patch here where it's got watermarks present. Oh, I'm just going to roll it all the way back up. There you go. Did I do... I've done the walls going, no, I didn't finish the walls off. So I'm just gonna finish the walls off. So I stop, stopped here. Above, you've got a cheese board selection of knives and items, no marks on the walls. Above, it's clean with no cobwebs. Right of the window, it's clean, apart from actual dent in the wall. Around the window, it's clean. 
and then left of the window screen apart from a cobweb and then items present light bulbs one two three are working two are white and one is yellow right i'm gonna head up to the second floor